Russian offensive in Kharkiv region has completely failed in all directions. The Telegraph. Russia's high-profile attack on Kharkiv a month after it began can already be considered a complete failure, and not least because of the stupidity of the Russian leadership, writes the Telegraph. According to the author of the article, now one can only guess why the Russians launched an offensive in the Kharkov region on May the 10th and attempt to capture Kharkov, create a buffer zone, or simply distract the Ukrainian armed forces from Donbass. Russia's Victory Day offensive has failed on all counts. Ukraine can thank the resilience of its tired infantry, the foresight of its leaders, the hasty supply of ammunition from the United States, and equally, the sheer stupidity and overconfidence of Russia's leaders, the publication said. The author of the article notes that the Russian Kharkov offensive is, to a certain extent, a reflection of the Russian invasion of Ukraine on February the 24th, 2022, smaller in scale, but just as stupid. If we consider the offensive as an attempt to capture Kharkov, then it failed in the first few days. If the Russians' goal was to create a buffer zone near the border, then the only significant result was the lifting of the ban on strikes by Western weapons on the territory of the Russian Federation. The author of the article considers the Russian offensive a failure even if the goal was to pull Ukrainian forces away from Donbass and deliver the main blow there. Yes, the Ukrainian military transferred entire battalions, perhaps entire brigades, from the south and east to the north to meet the Russian advance, but they had enough strength. The Ukrainian military had enough well-armed troops to hold their positions in the south and east and strengthen them in the north, the author notes. One person died in dozens, including five children, were injured when two trams collided in Russia's Siberian city of Kemerivo, the regional health ministry said. Local authorities reported that a malfunction occurred in the brakes of one of the two trams, causing it to increase in speed and collide with the tram in front of it. Unfortunately one person died, Alexei Kuznetsov, a senior official at the regional health ministry, was quoted as saying by the Interfax news agency. The city's electric transport company said no fire or deaths were reported as a result of the incident. The two trams were moving in the same direction at the time of the accident. A criminal case was thereby opened under the provision of services that do not meet safety requirements. Earlier, in a horrific incident that was caught on video in St. Petersburg with several people injured. A 45-year-old woman was seriously hurt after getting trapped under the tram. Смерть. 